What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope that all of you and your families had an excellent Christmas and holiday season. Uh, and we're also wishing you guys a happy New Year as well. So after Thursday night's loss to the Jaguars, I was down and out, defeated. You know, you're sitting with all the Zach Wilson nonsense and all these new rumors and reports and the bickering amongst the fans and who should get fired, who should get cut and everything else. And there was an outside chance that the Jets could still be in the mix, but a lot of things had to happen. So you're watching football yesterday and a lot of those things started to happen. But you went into the, today's game with Packers and Dolphins where you really need the Packers to win to get this to be a lot more interesting. And it's like, just when they, just when you try to leave, they suck you back in. As Tua Claus came up with three interceptions, the Packers win, and the Jets have a, a whole new life here. So the Jets have got to win out, and now the biggest thing would be the Patriots, where this is where that, well, that second loss to the Patriots is a killer. But the Patriots play the Dolphins next weekend. So there is a, there is a chance that if the Dolphins beat the Patriots, that Jets-Seahawks game is going to be huge, man. You win that, you're, that last game Miami's for a playoff spot. So it's interesting, man. I, I'm excited. It's nice to have all these, this, this scenario is pretty clean cut now. It's just you got to win. It's the most important thing. So the biggest story now is Mike White. I mean, to me personally, if I'm being completely honest, Zach Wilson does not see the field next week. If Mike White is not cleared to play, I play Flacco, I mix and struggle with the running plays, and Zach Wilson is inactive. That's me personally. I think damaged goods, the, he's, he's lost his confidence. The team has lost faith in him. If I'm going to try to, make, try to earn a playoff spot, it's not going to be with Zach. He can't do it. So I would go Flacco. I would go Strebler. I'd have Wilson inactive. But me, I'm ready to donate my ribs. I'm ready to just give them to Mike White. I'm, ready to, I'm willing to do anything to get this kid played because he gives you the best chance to win. So Seattle by no means is an easy team. But, you know, I think the Jets defense, if they clean up their act a little bit, and I think you, they know what's in front of them now. They have, they have a, long, a long week. They have a long rest coming up Thursday night. Yes, they're traveling across the country, but they're rested. They should be focused. They should be motivated. And they, they know it's on the line now. There's no excuses here. You go out and get that win. So it's exciting, man. I can't wait. It's uh, never. I didn't think we were going to be here, but we are. So you got to enjoy it. And uh, tomorrow's injury report and the way Salah handles it is going to be fascinating. And I'll talk to you guys later.